you're given the option to drop what you have and return to December 31, 2011 as yourself at that age, but with the extra eight years of experience. Do you take it? Why or why not? I would tell my dad to get regular scans so that they catch his cancer before it's too late. I miss you dad. That was six months before I got seriously injured for the fifth time. I think I'd take it. I'm not sitting through LMFAO having hit songs again. F them and f those dancing hamsters. 2020 and being fat it is. Folks. In a heartbeat. Some people live their life with no regrets. Some live the opposite. I am in the later camp. I can tell not to indulge in any of my three ex-girlfriends. I can tell me to clear last year of college. I can tell me not to start smoking. I can tell me to work out and have a good physique so I can be attractive to a better class of girls. I can tell me to socialize more. Sitting depressed at my apartment won't get me any new friends and will make me more of a loner. I can tell me to have a better friends. And not the one I met which made my depression worse. I can tell myself to enjoy life and youth more. I can tell myself to learn guitar when I had the time. Also there is Bitcoin, AMD and Netflix stocks. Added bonuses. Yes. Because then I wouldn't kill my best friend in a car accident. Maybe, I'd be just leaving middle school and entering high school the year after. And I'd open a Roth IRA and start contributing money from my paid internship that I get in 2015 and 2016. I definitely would be ahead of where I am now. You have impossible knowledge of future stock and bettable events and you are going to open a f IRA. Oh gee looks like my investments made another 13% this year. Meanwhile Bitcoin has increases approximately 250% AVG every year over the last 8 years. Yes. I spend more time with my dad and be more understanding of the disease. Parkinson's. That took his life this year. A lot of people underestimate this question. They think the worst that'll happen is whatever is going on now you have to wait 8 years to experience again but no. Think about the butterfly effect. If you do one tiny thing differently in those 8 years you could end up not meeting a dear friend, girlfriend, wife, etc. You could end up completely changing the course of your life not necessarily for the better. Think about all of the good memories over the last 8 years that would evaporate when you eventually make that first different decision. Remember, this isn't a video game. You have to remember exactly what you did over 8 years if you want any sense of normalcy. And trying to do that with a mindset 8 years ahead, forget about it. You could try to avert one bad thing that happened to you and end up in a worse situation down the line. This situation is a lot more stressful and complicated than people realize. Hell yeah. Ruined my life back in the early 2000s just because I wanted to live in the moment. F*** all this and let's go. Not far enough. Can we go back further? Oh hell no. These were my worst years and I'm way past that. Now I'm good and I'm gonna stay this way as much as I can. Yeah but think of the Bitcoin. Yep. Lottery numbers. Betting odds. And knowing my own personal mistakes will increase my life's worth by at least 30 times. Yes. My nana was run over and killed last month when she was walking home from the store in a hit and run. I would do anything to turn back time to see her again or try to prevent what happened. Yes. No doubt. Bitcoin alone would be worth it. And I'm not losing anything. I would take any date back to to when I was a teen. 48 years ago. Sigh. Ever see the episode Tapestry on STNG? I have to stop and think for a while about it. I don't deserve it. Took me too long to realize that 2011 was 8 years ago. How many of y'all really remember winning lottery numbers? No. I can't go back further than 6 years. My son is 6 years old and I can't risk him never being born. No, I'd become a billionaire but the person I am today would cease to exist. I would unnaturally become someone I was never meant to be. Yes, those were the skinny years I wasted thinking I was fat. Absolutely, I can avoid my ex. I never would have been pressured into leaving an okay paying job to pursue some bullshit career. When there was no real opportunities in that field and not wind up having to rely on her for everything for three years as I struggled to find a new job. 
I've thought about this question a lot. As much as I'd love the experience, I don't think my mental health would be all too good knowing I wouldn't ever see my kids again. Sure I could have a lot of money, but would it really be worth it? And besides, imagine all the f inside jokes you wouldn't be able to share with anyone. Just f laughing to yourself on your bed made of money. Yes. My best friend and fiancé would still be alive. Yes. Because. Stop myself from making certain stupid financial decisions that cost thousands and gave my phone number to scam agencies from whom I still get calls on occasion in 2012. Take my 20s more seriously in general. Bet on the Cubs winning in 2016. Even though I don't really need the money from that because Bitcoin. In a f heartbeat. My entire life crashed because of one decision I made in 2012. I don't care about the money. I just want the chance to fix myself and be okay. No never. I'm so close to finishing school I don't want to do 8 years of it all over again. Yes. I'd take it in a heartbeat and I'd work my ass off. Yes because I would be able to have a fresh start. No. I had cancer or leukemia for those who are interested. No, it's just too much effort. A thousand times yes, I wouldn't have stayed so damn long at my dead-end grocery store job. I would not get that DUI. I wouldn't try and date the girl who becomes my supervisor and manipulates the shit out of me. And I wouldn't have spent that year at a private college that ended up tripling my student loan debt. And if I still did all that shit, I would have bought new shells for the shotgun my grandpa left me so that when I pulled the f trigger I wouldn't have had a misfire. Thank you for letting me rant. Absolutely. I'd never give the poor excuse of a boyfriend I had a chance that year. I'd save more money use it wisely and I'd be a hell of a lot more confident mostly because I'd keep the extra 8 years experience. Yes. I would do anything to have another chance at stopping my best friend from committing suicide. I miss him. Definitely. Ten years ago I was grumpily dragging my feet up the stairs when my mom woke me up in the middle of the night. Now I'm sitting here thinking about how, for almost all of the past ten years, I've been trying so hard to be who everyone else wanted me to be that I don't even know who I am or what I want to do with my life. If I could go redo it, I'd live my life for myself instead of those around me. 11th grade absolutely. With the confidence and personal peace I have now. Oh my lord. I found my old phones from high school a few months ago while visiting my mother. And it was pretty bittersweet looking through the old texts and photos. I was such an angry kid. I thought everyone hated me. And I missed every signal any girl would put out. Hindsight would have been such a great f cushion to hold on to. Breathe. Drink a little water. Rice instead of fries. And look them in the eyes and I would have completely skirted past the mental health issues. Great question by the way op. It's something I think about often. I'm the Bitcoin investment comment. F yeah, I would beat the shit out of the kids that bullied me. Stand up for myself and have more confidence. That and invest in Bitcoin. Can we push it just a year earlier? Yeah, or even just a few months. September 2011 is when I lost a really good friend who didn't want to be here anymore. I could have at least made sure he knew he wasn't alone. Hell no. My eyes are set on the future. The last thing I need is being trapped back in a waking nightmare while still having my current knowledge. Yes. Absolutely. I'd still do a lot of the things I've already done. I'd just change AFEW simple things that have been hindrances for 2016 me to now. Bad choices in friendships. Stupid choices in life. Doing things I knew have instant gratification while ignoring the future to come. Biggest thing is knowing I'll be alive to say to myself. You're gonna see 2020 make it worth it. I would take it for stupid reasons like being the first one to photoshop Keanu Reeves. If I can keep redoing it till I get it right. Yes. Respect. Butterfly effect. Keep trying till it's right. I like this answer. Even if we know. Who says we get it right the first time? Hell no. I'd probably f it up more. Yes. I would get all those distinctions as a child prodigy. And I could easily gamble on sports matches, etc. and win every time provided I memorize results before I go. Yes. 
so I could live the last of my childhood again and be a lot more controlled with my young anger. Even so, I would still be fully supportive of my mother's decision to divorce her marriage with my father. Granted, I would have to go through the unmedicated depression again, but it would be worth it all just to go through the best years of my life once more. Oh, and I would have to go through school again. But so what? I miss school. Yes and no. Yes because it would give me an opportunity to change my life. No because I would no longer have my kids. My kids are teenagers now, so I'd get to have another eight years of them being little kids. And I'd have the chance to be a better parent to them. They're doing fine, really. But having an extra eight years of parenting under my belt would probably help me do a little better. And those were great years. I loved it. Also I'd have my dog back. He passed away last summer and I'd love to have a few more years with that colossal dumbass. Also purchasing lots of Bitcoin. No, I would have eight years of memories with my husband that he wouldn't have. Plus I'd have to live through him losing his dad again, and that was brutal. But if we could both go back, then yes, absolutely. No, I'd lose my kids. Even if I could be guaranteed that I would get them back, it would be devastating to lose them for eight years. No, I don't think I would. I'm very happy with my life at the moment. Like, really happy. And if I went back then, I'm afraid I'd mess something up causing my life to change drastically. And for reference, until this year, I wasn't satisfied with my life until, well, this year. No, my son was not born yet. If the conditions at his conception and my wife's pregnancy weren't exactly the same as this timeline, he would never exist. Sure I might have other kids, but none the same as him. Poof. He's gone so I can get rich knowing what I know now. Nah. No because I am happy with where I am today. Ooh an 8 year old with no new skills but the ability to drive. Definitely. Mom I want Bitcoin. Yes. With everything I know now, I could easily go back and be a millionaire. Yes. With everything I know now, I could easily go back and spoil hundreds of movies for people. Yes. Why? 1. Get rich with investing, future knowledge. 2. Dumping someone you don't live with or share finances with is easier than divorce. 3. Be where I am now at least 5 to 6 years earlier. 4. Use my memories of the past 8 years as fuel to do better without the regret of wasted time. I turned 21 in 2011. You're saying I could redo my 20s? With a 29-year-old brain and experiences? Hell yes I would. I wasted a lot of energy, time, money, my youth being too stupid to move forward. Oh yeah, my mom passed away in 2013. Dad died in 2018. I could get him to go get checked. Yeah absolutely I would do that. I'd tell me dad he's a f idiot and not let him put my family in crippling debt so my brother could follow his dreams and go to med school. I'd tell my mom to not let my dad walk all over her cause she deserves better. She is an absolute saint and f*** anyone who says different. And finally I would hug my friend Elliot harder than I have ever hugged anyone before. Today is his birthday. A month from now is the anniversary of his death as well as his brother's birthday. This has been my first New Year's without him and I miss him so much. I don't know what the point of this post was but if you read the whole thing, please pour one out for L. He was a kind soul and he loved everyone around him. He did not deserve his fate. Much love everyone. Happy New Year. I would. It would be before I met my wife. I don't know that I could go through everything with her family again. The effect of her family and her mental health on me over the last few years has led to me having severe depression. Nearly suicidal and losing my job and being blacklisted in my home area in my field. Even with the knowledge, my best efforts would likely only delay problems at best. I'd seen the family dramas coming a mile off as it was and my warnings fell on deaf ears. I'd probably not talk to her that day we met. Yeah, I'd get to see my mum again, and tell her to go to the doctor. Hopefully she'd have a better chance of beating that mega bitch called cancer. I could answer yes to this, and save myself from getting raped seven years ago. I could save myself from cheating boyfriends. A job that almost killed me with stress, and the spiral of alcoholism, depression, and other untreated mental illnesses that followed it all. I could save myself a lot. But I still don't know where the past 8 years are taking me. I'm still healing from them. And I'm one of those types that learns the most from suffering. I guess. 
I wouldn't want to answer yes to this without knowing who the next version of me is. Maybe I'm better for all this. I like to think I already am. So thank you. Spirit of New Year's past. I suppose I'll pass on that offer. <laughs>